What's up, YouTubers? This is your boy, Big Major Fan 12, coming to you with another video game review. And in this review, I'm going to talk about the game Prince of Persia Rival Swords, which was released on the Nintendo Wii and PSP by Ubisoft, Ubisoft Montreal, and Pipeworks. And this game is a port of the game uh, Prince of Persia The Two Thrones, which was released on um, Xbox, PC, PlayStation 2, and GameCube. And um, it maintains the plot where where it takes place uh, right after a uh, prince of Persian warrior within where the prince is traveling back to Babylon and uh, Kalina, the empress of time, is with him. And he was expecting to find peace, but he found that Babylon was, was being attacked and the vizier was the one behind it and everything. And there's pretty much five chapters in the game where, um, you pretty much um, travel through um, Babylon uh, to, to, to set things right from the previous two games and stuff like that. And um, you pretty much fight on the Vizier's um, minions like the Scythian um, archers, the uh, sand creatures, the sand gate guards, hunter hounds, stuff like that. And you pretty much fight, a number, I'd say, four or five bosses overall, you know what I'm saying, which includes the um, Vizier himself and stuff. Now, and there's pretty much four different uh, weapon classes, which are axes, um, uh, swords, mace, and um, daggers. And, they, and each of them all have their own unique advantage in battle, you know what I'm saying. And you can pretty much use the environment with to um to utilize different um uh, combos combat combos and stuff like that which involves like kicks and using like um you can chop their heads off and stuff like that now um pretty much you in early in the game you you find a, a fish gunner you know what i'm saying then like like later on in the first chapter you can um you you ended up ditching the fish gunner and and use that got time for the remainder of the game, you know what I'm saying, and um, and that's like depending on this this cutscene where um the vizier kills Kalina and you and everything just just go haywire and stuff like that, and you go after the um dagger of time and stuff, and that's where um you don't technically. Uh, um, change to the Dark Prince at first, but you um change it to him like five minutes, I guess five minutes after you um get the uh, dagger of time and stuff. And one thing about um uh, changing to the Dark Prince is that the Dark Prince uses the, the um dagger time dagger tail as the primary weapon and stuff like that. And when as far as using combos and you uh, interacting with the environment and stuff like that. Plus, when you're fighting the enemies, you're going to mainly be um, fighting the sand creatures and stuff like that. And it's important that um, you absorb that sand after you defeat them because the Dark Prince's um, health gradually um, gradually goes down. If, it's, even if, if his health bar is, is depleted down to zero, you can pretty much get a game over and everything. And then there's the... Um, sand powers that you get and you get them at different points in the game and they call and then the sand powers are um recall eye of the storm wind of sand and sandstorm now re the recall allows you to undo time and you can back it up up to eight seconds and it's important to like because if you like overdo a jump or something like that you can use it to go back to it to a specific point in everything. Now the Eye of the Storm is allows you to slow down time, you know what I'm saying? It slow down everything around the prince. It allows you to be more accurate with your combos and stuff and, and everything. Now with the um wind of sand, it will do a good amount of damage to the enemies. Yeah, and it's good if you're facing like more than say five enemies at you that is it's coming at you. And, and and after you like use use the wind of sand, you, you could pretty much like um pretty much finish them off if any one of them is like left standing and stuff. 
Now the sandstorm is is practically a stronger, more deadly version of the um wind of sand. You know what I'm saying? It, it practically take out um uh, all of the uh, regular enemies that come at you, especially if they're um like I guess at least uh, eight of them coming at you. You know what I'm saying? So you go you gonna have to use that in 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 extreme cases and stuff. You know what I'm saying? It, it either if you're facing a um, a crap load of enemies like ten or twelve, or you're close to nine, you know what I'm saying. So use the um the um that that last one, the um went the um went the sandstorm in those extreme cases and stuff. And of course the um the um you can use the speed kills. You know what I'm saying. But one thing about it is that you you see on the screen when it's time to use the um, speed kill when you see the screen get blurry. You know what I'm saying? And that's mainly because they won't the enemy, none of the regular enemies won't see you when when the when the screen get blurry. And if you're playing the Wii version, all you have to do to execute the speed kill is to is to um, swing the um nunchuck and um and you have to um, swing the between the uh, Wii remote at the right time when the dagger is shining and it and it, and the screen turns black and white and stuff and the number of times you shake the um Wii remote is depending on which enemy you try to take out you know what I'm saying for some like the um Scyther um uh, Archer you you pretty much have to swing the um non not the nunchuck but the Wii remote um one time at the right at the right time then you take them out with no problem, you know what I'm saying? And with the um, sword speed, you have to um, shake, you have to swing the um, Wii remote uh, twice at the right time, you know what I'm saying? And it is worth noting that um, in some situations, you can do a double speed kill, you know what I'm saying? And you can also use the speed kill as the Dark Prince, you know what I'm saying? But you pretty much use the um, Dagger Tail to, to execute the speed kill and stuff. And um, it's and, and as the Dark Prince, the speed kill is more dependent on the rhythm than the uh, than sequence and stuff like that. Plus, when you're um, getting to a certain point, you you pretty much like use um, the Prince's athletic ability to move or climb on different ledges, ladders, and stuff like that, along with avoiding hazards while interacting with the, um, environment and stuff. And, um, as far as the, um, graphics and, um, design of Prince of Persia, Rifle Source, uh, they're pretty good with some nice color palettes, although, um, I don't, didn't see a lot of significant, um, changes to the um, environment and, and characters for the most part. The controls and gameplay are pretty good, you know what I'm saying? And um, Ubisoft did um, take into consideration the motion, motion controls for um, the Wii version while they were uh, making it and stuff. And the, um, and the soundtrack is pretty good you know, from our raw standpoint and stuff. And on the only thing that um, that puzzles me is is why Ubisoft downgraded it from a from a rated T from rated M to T. You know what I'm saying? Because I remember when the game when the Rival Source first came out, I saw it in a um, GameStop um, uh, uh, ad on, on paper and stuff like that. And I I saw when I saw that uh, Rival Source rate, rated T, I thought it was a misprint until I saw it until I went to a um, local game stop like a couple of weeks later and saw it was actually already T so it puzzled me why they would do that, you know what I'm saying? Especially since um uh the two drones was ready M, you know what I'm saying? This is a and the two and the Robert Swords is a um part of that, you know. Now um Prince of Persia Rival Swords it is a good game, you know what I'm saying? The only reason I would uh, recommend um, owning this game is either because you're a fan of the Prince of Persia franchise or you never owned um, Prince of Persia The Two Thrones on the PS2, Xbox, PC, or 
GameCube and stuff. Now, as far as the score, I definitely give it an um, eight out of, eight out of ten. It is good, you know what I'm saying. But I guess there were some things that was lost. Yeah, I lost, I guess, you know what I'm saying. Now, with that being said, you can um, sound off in the comment section about Prince of Persia's rival swords. You know what I'm saying? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Is it worth uh, like owning and stuff like that? You know what I'm saying? You could say you could sound off on on the, on those like type of aspects on rival swords and stuff. Now, if you like this video, don't hesitate to click the thumbs up button. Don't forget to to subscribe. Hit that bell notification button. You can share it too, you know what I'm saying? This is your boy Big Metroid Fan 12 signing off.